So today we're working on the clamp mechanisms. So we wanted to secure the panels down into this frame that we had made. Um, originally we thought we might screw in from the bottom, but there just wasn't enough lip to really catch it like on the meat of the panel like we wanted to. And we thought that probably clamping the structure would be more secure. And so here's what we came up with. So we basically cut two pieces of angle um, one this way and one that way. So these are just two inches. And then we welded on a um, just a 3 8 inch tube and then put a 3 8 inch bolt through it with a washer, a lock washer, and a, and a uh, locking nut. So it seems to, if I push on it, it's, on, it's in there pretty secure. So um, this looks like it's going to work. We had looked online for like some pre-made clamps or some solar clamps and stuff like that. And of course, most of the systems are proprietary and they're made to go with the sort of um, underlying uh, mounting system that goes with it. So since we kind of made our own, now we're kind of having to make our own clamps. And so this looks like it's gonna work out pretty well. If you look real close, you'll see we have a piece of rubber kind of sandwiched in between the two bits. So we'll take it apart and we'll show you how we actually um, how we actually put this thing together. Okay, so our clamping mechanism basically consists of we welded this uh, angle iron, which is the same as this, it's just one inch, uh, eighth inch thick angle iron. And then this is the same thing, um, except it has a tube that we got welded on there and so that helps it to line up. And so these overlap slightly so that they, it doesn't turn, so there's no torquing on it. So that kind of helps to keep it in place. And so we've secured it all with a 3 8 inch bolt and 3 8 inch uh, grade eight hardware. So that should hopefully be strong enough. Um, so we intend on having five along the length of the entire panel. So five on this side and then five on that side for a total of 10 clamps, which is probably overkill, but that's the way we're leaning right now. So we're gonna get to making some of these and see how they turn out.
right, so here are all four of our racks stacked up. And you can see we made them pretty square and pretty much all the same because they stack up on a simple 3 16th inch kind of base. So they all line up pretty well. So we're getting a little bit better at making stuff. So. All right, so today we're working on mounting the bottom panel. So we mounted the top panel and we used these clamps that we kind of came up with and these have now been welded in and this has now been painted. But now we're working on the bottom panel which presents a little bit of an issue because the gap is so small. So we really, it, we can't really have something that clamps down, at least anything that's relatively high profile. So we have to come up with something else. So what we've come up with is um, we're using this two inch aluminum angle, um, mostly because we already had it. We thought we were gonna build the whole thing out of this two inch aluminum angle and it ended up being that we couldn't because it just wasn't strong enough and so now um, we're repurposing it and using we've used it on the sliders now and now we're using it for um, to make little mounts here so the problem was we need to be able to mount these panels uh, securely to the slider while also being able to remove the panels if they go bad or if we need to replace them or something like that and so what we've done is we've went ahead and cut about six six inch pieces this is actually about five and a half inches and we've put them under the panel and so it makes like a little shelf for the panel to sit in um, we could now weld this together but we don't really have the equipment to weld aluminum i i just learned to weld metal so i don't know how to weld aluminum but what we're going to try is um, 3m 5200 adhesive so this adhesive um, is supposed to be permanent and extremely strong so we're also going to put it in with two bolts so we'll have two bolts that kind of secure it and hold it in place and then this should make it permanent <laughs> we'll see <laughs> so we're going to try this um, what that does now is gives us a, a relatively large area to put in bolts in through the side and then it bolts in through the bottom um, to secure that panel in place um, in one of six places so we have we have six different places where we can put in a bunch of hardware to keep this panel in place so we think that's going to work we're gonna head and, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try and see what we come up with Okay, so continuing on, um, we now have bolted these down on all three of our panels on both sides, and you'll see they're flush mounted. So we plan on fitting them just to be 100% sure that they all fit and that they all work well, and then um, we'll glue, we'll pull these back apart, glue the bottom, and we've got everything marked so that we can put this right back on exactly the way it was. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a panel on here and see if they hold them in. And we've fitted them all so that there's very little gap, almost no gap, in the fitting of them. 
so that we're sure that they're nice and snug. Um, so now, the nice thing is it adds a lot of rigidity to this panel. I can pull it out by the corner and it will just glide and flow just like it's supposed to. So, now that we have that, the next step is to actually glue. So we're gonna take these back apart. We've marked everything up now with a green Sharpie so we don't confuse ourselves. So we've marked everything up and we'll take these off and then use this 3M5200. So um, we've heard that this is pretty powerful stuff. Um, we're kind of excited to try it to see if it'll work well. Um, so we're gonna do that. There are two screws in there which will go back in there um, just to add another measure of clamping and to help keep it all supported. But we think the glue is probably what's going to be the thing that holds them in. So anyway, um, we are going to do that next. So we'll take the solar panels off, we'll unbolt these again, um, try this glue, which we've never tried, and um, see how that works out. So the plan for securing these, we aren't just going to sit them in here like a tray. Um, they obviously can slide this way uh, just a little bit because we've only got a little bit of clearance on the sides. Um, we are going to have three bolts that come in from the sides. We'll do one, two, three, and this is all stainless hardware that's on order, and then one, two on the bottom, and then the third one over here. So we'll have two over here, and then one over here, and that should give us six bolts holding the panel in per little standoff thing. So 36 bolts in total holding this panel in should be more than enough um, we hope. So that's what we're going with uh, right now. Um, so we won't do that actually though until we get them onto the actual bus because although we made some fairly detailed drawings, we want to be sure that our legs, which we can move the legs anywhere we need to in order to avoid the vents, um, we want to make sure that those are clear because we'd hate to like drill into our panels and everything and then get up there and we discover that oh no it needs to move by half an inch or oh no it's you know it's it's hitting the fan so anyway um we're gonna wait to do that until they're all mounted fortunately they're they're nice and secure just like this so we can get them all mounted up and then go ahead and pull them out and drill them just even up there and and get them all mounted up and secured um, after we have everything mounted. So that's the plan on those. All right, we're putting on the um, the adhesive now. So this is the 3M5200. And what we learned from the first one we did was um, don't use a whole bunch because <laughs> it just comes pouring out the sides. So what, we've do, what we're doing is we're just doing a little kind of a thin zigzag pattern and a little bit really does go a long way. So we're trying not to get it in any of the screw holes and it doesn't look like much, but most of, a lot of that will squeeze out. So that's about what we're doing <clears throat> about there. Then we'll put the plate back on. And that's it. So we're gonna screw it back in and make sure it's lined up so Michelle needs to hold it so we're not gonna do it with the camera, but um, we'll screw it back in just to get it to clamp and to hold and hopefully that'll be really strong. We'll test a couple of these uh, maybe in a few days because it takes, um, we have the fast cure stuff and I think they said give it three days um, for it to be fully cured. So it should be cured within 24 hours but they said for full strength give it three days so maybe next week we'll come back in and kind of give them a little tug or something but um this is what we're using for now and that's how we're using it oh. so we finished now and you can see that the glue is just barely coming out so just that little bit um is just barely coming out so that seems to be about the right uh, the right amount of glue is just a little bit of glue so it is very humid here so we got the AC running but it's not helping a ton so anyway we're going to continue doing this and um, 
once we are satisfied with this, this is prototype, then again we'll start in production mode and start cutting up all the aluminum. We think this is a good thing to go with, so we're going to go with this. And so tomorrow we're going to start cutting up all the aluminum and getting it all ready, drilling all the holes, and getting it essentially ready to production line what we're doing right here. All right, so we got the pieces all glued up and they're drying. So this is most of our sliders. <laughs> 